well, Bill's mini camp, yeah. all here, all of his injuries. Like, right. uh, how much is this going to cripple the process? The process no. as we reach September in terms of what's happening now. None at all. It doesn't. I mean, the coaches whine about everything. They talk. And McDermott talks sometimes like they have a game next week. Yes, are there things they would like to see? And you know, getting the group together. They have training camp for some of that, which is the on-field work that's going to be a little more intensive. They're seeing other guys. This is the one benefit sometimes if you have some guys that are nicked up that you know how they play, you know a lot about them, use these mini camps to give other guys the, quote, reps that they're going to need. Sure. Would you like to have everybody healthy? You'd much rather them healthy in July and August or in certainly into September well, for the season to start. Is this a waste of time? No, it's not a waste of time. You've got 90 guys. You're trying to sift through it because the reality is they go into training camp. They won't admit it. They know 60 guys on that roster. Absolutely 60. They know, and they're going to cut it to 53, and they're stunned when one or two guys, because these they see what guys do in the spring, so they're looking at individual guys. Yes, it would be nice if Mitch Morris gets a lot of snaps now with Josh Allen for these few days of a mini camp. There's an overreaction to all those things. It is still months away from playing games. They're getting a look at a lot of different especially guys. Especially in those two areas of concern, the offensive line and the receivers trying to get used to Josh Allen, mm -hmm. that there's something of value here. Well, on the offensive line, I don't know, because you're not even really making contact. Yeah. I mean, the center would be the most valuable, valuable position, but you're missing 80 snaps over a week, 100 snaps. And your center is a veteran guy who has been around, so it's not like he's a rookie just come into camp. That being said, I might... I think you might be understating the importance to this coaching staff and front office of mini camps because it was last year that at what we thought was a joke, like a sending a message thing, that Robert Foster was the number one wide receiver on the mini camp offense. And all of a sudden, Robert Foster played a legitimate role a little while into the season. Yes, sir. And then got cut and then came back. Sure. So, you know, and it's like, and then all of a sudden, Robert Foster is this guy. And then you'll see them two weeks into the season make a major change on the offensive line where a guy gets benched, another guy moves from tackle to guard, and all of a sudden it's plan B. So, uh, yes, I think it's important it can be overstated. Okay, all I'm saying, relax, yeah. relax, mister, all right? Get a little well, attitude. Hold on, let the athlete talk. <laughs> <laughs> NFL is a week-to-week -week sport, right? So a lot of changes, to your point, they, you know, can be widespread strategy changes from one week to the other, partially because of injury and partially just because of what it, you know, I test, what it looks like on TV. Um, mini camps and spring trainings, you know, I, I, I think you both bring valid points. You know, Mike's point about veteran players know what to do, how to get ready. You know, Cecil Fielder wore sneakers all through batting practice, <laughs> all through, you know, infield. He never, will put, he, yeah, he never put a pair of spikes on, right? So I think that, you know, guys do know what to do. You can, can never you just get sick of it. I mean, like, how much is too much? Well, I it's think all the it's the entire calendar. It, it is, and I think that I think for for like I said, for guys that have played long enough, they want to get to games. They even want to probably get to midseason when you know hope to have a you know a fighting chance with the last eight games of the season. You know, when when you when you look at at you know any spring training or any you know prep work it, it is all timing and so the the parts of the game that that need timing quarterback receivers things of that nature you can't have enough practice in that in that but as far as the physicality and offensive line until it's game speed are they are they really running as hard they're not chipping there's just they're, it's not the same 